Hello and welcome back to another video, the second closed beta for Black Desert Online's western version has just finished, and I managed to get in and take a look at the game. So in this video we're going to talk about a few new things I've learned about as well as some details that we know about the full release, just to give you guys some idea of what to expect in this game. First up, let's talk about cost. Black Desert Online will be a buy to play game without any subscription option. The cheapest version of the game is €29.99, the slightly more expensive version is €49.99, and the most expensive version of the game is €99.99. You're probably wondering, what the hell could these other packs have to justify that cost? Well, it's mostly cosmetic stuff as well as access to closed betas, however the big advantage will be in the head starts. The Traveler's Pack will give you a 24 hour head start, the Explorer's Pack will give you a 48 hour head start, and the Conqueror's Pack will give you a 96 hour head start. And in a game that involves making guilds and taking over towns, that's pretty damn huge. I myself will probably get the Conqueror's Pack because me and a friend want to make a guild and get pretty far ahead. If it wasn't for that, I'd go for the cheapest option. Whilst on the subject of cost, Black Desert will have an in-game store that sells a bunch of cosmetic items. Sadly, there's not many armor sets in-game to distinguish yourself a whole lot, so these armor sets will probably be really popular. You can however dye your armor though if you want to look different without spending money. Black Desert Online has some of the most detailed and comprehensive character customization options I've ever seen in an MMO, and with the western version of the game being buy to play, that means less restrictions in this aspect of the game in comparison to the Korean free to play version. On the Korean servers you need to pay for many of the hairstyles, face types and skin tones, however in the western version all of these will be unlocked right away. The game will launch with the following 7 classes, the Warrior, Ranger, Sorceress, Berserker, Wizard slash Witch, Valkyrie and Beastmaster, however more will be added after launch, I think the Korean version also has the Blader, Plum, Kenochi and Ninja. When released in the west the game will be fully voice acted in English, although I'm not 100% sure if it will be that way for the launch, because currently in the closed beta there isn't much voice acting yet. The leveling in Black Desert is actually a lot different to what I initially thought when trying the game for the first time on the Korean servers. It turns out that questing isn't a very good way of gaining XP, but instead you need to do that in order to gain resources, items and currency. The best way to actually level up is through mob grinding. Lots and lots of mob grinding, and seeing how there's no strict level cap, I can see this game becoming very grindy at times. Personally I'm not too bothered by this though as I've fallen in love with the combat in this game. It still remains to be the best combat I've ever experienced in an MMO so far, so killing countless amounts of monsters is something I'll probably do for fun anyway. Property in Black Desert is a huge aspect of the game and learning how to do this sooner rather than later will help you out a lot to end game. Each town has different buildings that can be used for different things. You can use buildings as personal housing, warehouses, crafting buildings, worker housing, shipyards, stables and much more. To make use of these buildings you'll need to hire workers which will go out and gather resources, craft materials and build things for you. The whole property system seems to be pretty complex, so you'll need to look up some guides to get your head around it as a new player, but the goal of it seems to be to build up your own empire by owning properties in many towns and connecting them. I haven't fully got my head around this aspect of the game yet, but I do find the complexity of it rather intriguing. I'm also a massive nerd when it comes to player housing, and the fact that you can have 5 personal houses to decorate throughout the entire world makes me really happy. When you first start Black Desert you'll be asked to pick a family name. Your family basically refers to all of the characters on your account. From what I can tell all of your characters have shared access to your storage known as warehouses which are localised in each town. This means you can character hop to a character located in a certain town to save travel time on your main character if you wanted to access the auction house or vendors whilst out in the world exploring. Black Desert's endgame will be very PvP oriented, although there's a few things you can do in PvE such as world bosses. PvP endgame will start at level 50, in which you can then attack and be attacked by other players over that level outside of safe zones. Something you'll want to do is join a guild, because most of the PvP endgame consists of large mass scale PvP warfare, some of which involves node wars, guild sieges and arena battles. To gain an advantage in this game you'll need to make use of crafting, professions and property management to craft gear and earn silver. A unique feature this game has with its guilds is a contract feature where you sign a contract when joining a guild and receive a wage. You will however be expected to earn your wage by helping out the guild. 
Black Desert Online is entirely open world. It's not heavily instanced like most MMOs. You can explore the whole world without running into a loading screen. To get across the ocean, you'll need to either board a ferry or sail across on your own boat. Oh yeah, that's another thing I had no idea this game has. You can get fishing boats or huge galleons to go out and explore the ocean. You can also swim underwater too. To me, the open world aspect is the main reason I'm so hyped for this game. I hate instanced MMOs and loading screens, so for me, this is a pretty big deal. A major concern a lot of people have with this game is whether or not their PC will be able to run it. From what I've experienced with the game so far, it does seem to be well optimised and has scaling options that should allow it to be played on some pretty low end systems. I'll put the minimum and recommended specs on screen now. When I first started playing the game on my 970 graphics card, it ran on high graphics with around 50 frames per second, sometimes dropping to about 30 in major towns. On my current PC, which has a 980 Ti graphics card, it's pretty much always running at 60 FPS on max settings. This game runs way better than most MMOs I've played, Blade and Soul being one of them. The western version of Black Desert will be released in the first quarter of 2016, so anywhere between January and the end of March. Hopefully there should be a solid date out soon. There's not going to be any open beta tests, so the release shouldn't be long after the last closed beta. Overall, Black Desert Online seems to be a game more comparable to something like EVE Online more than anything else due to the complexity of the crafting and property system. It's a game you'll need to play with a different mindset to normal MMOs. It's very immersive, grindy and there's a lot to get your head around as a new player. Black Desert runs very well considering its graphical fidelity and if there's anything you'll fall in love with in this game, it's the combat system and character creation which in my opinion are second to none. If you're someone that's looking at this game expecting a lot of PvE content, then I think there's a good chance that you'll be disappointed, because from what I can tell, that's one of the major things this game lacks on the Korean servers. If, however, you were someone that found Arcade really exciting, but was extremely disappointed with how Tryon butchered it and made it pay to win, then this could be a game worth looking at, as there's quite a few comparisons that can be made between these two games. However, Black Desert doesn't seem like it's going to be pay to win from what we can tell so far. I'm not going to lie guys, this is the only MMO coming to the West in the foreseeable future that I'm excited for, and whilst I do have my concerns about how grindy it will turn out to be and the amount of stuff there is to do at endgame, I've really enjoyed what I've played of it so far, and for the first time since World of Warcraft, I've found a game that has a world which I actually care about. Black Desert Online is a game that's definitely not going to be for everyone, but if it sounds like the kind of game that you'd enjoy, then let me know in the comments below. Also, go check out my friend Private Wiggles' channel, as he'll be making a bunch of concise English Black Desert guides with my help before the launch. Also, I'll probably do a full review on Black Desert after the release, once I've gotten my head around everything. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. You take it easy, and I'll see you again really soon. This cannot be a player house. The detail's insane. I'm so sold right now. I am so sold. Good player housing, good combat system, decent graphics, amazing character customization. This is what I want.